Well, I'm out here with Ben Lefeu on one of my favorite places here in Central Kentucky, Shaker Village. What are we doing today? Uh, today we're going on a quail hunt. So it's part of the uh, lottery uh, quail drawing that we do in partnership with the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife Foundation. So uh, proceeds from ticket sales go to uh, conservation camps in Salado and then it goes to conservation here as well. We're in a field that was originally planted in 2009 with a lot of help from Kentucky Fish and Wildlife. So the, the goal here was a, a lot of different species, but it's kind of a quail focus area. Correct. And hopefully, taking this land and putting it back into prairies and allowing it to grow up a little bit, but also burn it and manage it. Mm -hmm. You wanted to maintain it for wild quail. Now, Correct. Have you guys ever released quail here before? We have not. So these are all 100% wild birds, and that's what makes this so incredibly unique. Yeah. Well, let's meet our hunter and get the dogs on the ground. I'm here with Marie, and you are the lucky winner of this quail hunt on Shaker Village. What made you want to do this? I've always loved Shaker Village. I've ridden my horses here, and when I heard they had a quail hunt, I'm a new hunter uh, a couple of years, and uh, I just had to try it. It's a beautiful, very special place out here. You've been hunting for how long now? A couple of years? A couple of years, yeah, okay. so I'm okay. new. That is so great. I love the fact that, uh, you know, you decided at some point in time that, you know, this is something I want to try. It's exactly it. I took care of my kids, I took care of my mother, and uh, now it's my time, and I thought, I didn't expect to like it, and then when I found out the dogs were involved, I'm like, I'm all in. I'm pretty obsessed. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's go meet these dogs. We're going to have a lot of fun. We are. Let's do it. Right, let's do it. Let's go. Normally, if you can see the dog real well, you just watch them. But you know, in this case where the cover is pretty thick and we let them run pretty well, you know, the Garmin is pretty much a lifesaver in this deal. They're hunting for something about that big around and 3,000 acres, more or less. You know, birds, if they're feeding, they're easier to find, they'll be out scattered. So we'll find a covey that way, or if they're still, you know, huddled up close, they're just hunting for where they're sitting. Come on, Bo. Looks like we got one on point. Marie, which side do you want to be on here? I'll go right. Okay. Keep going. They'll come out down there at the edge. There they go. I believe we had a miss on my side. I think <laughs> I had two misses. <laughs> they were fast. Yeah, I believe I missed. Look in here, Bo. People that are not into hunting, they don't understand that it's not all about the harvest. It's as much about the pursuit and the adventure of the hunt as, yeah. as the rest of it. And the camaraderie with, you know, the dogs and stuff. Yep. Yeah. It's a great connection to the earth, it really. really. It really truly is. It connects you back to, like you said, a different time. There's the deer. <laughs> there they go, the deer right there. <laughs> Looks like we got one on point. There you go. That was a single, huh? That was pretty awesome. Well, that was cool. You, uh, as soon as that bird came up, you recognized it was a, a quail that was on it pulling the trigger. That's great. It was exciting, and I was just thinking I should need to go over a little bit more instead of, you know. <laughs> you know we, we saw that bird a while yeah. ago kind of get up in front of a dog and fly in front of us come back down, but we didn't know exactly where it was at. We didn't know if it was still there. Sure enough, you walked right up there and got a chance. Well, Marie, that was a great day for me. I do not get a chance to do that very much, and I appreciate you sharing this opportunity with me. Well, it's been fun, and it's been fun to get to know you, too. Yeah, and I tell you, yeah, so today we didn't see as many birds, but that's what hunting's all about. You that's didn't come right. out here thinking, you know, if somebody would have told you before the day started, well, you know, we're not going to end up with a bird, I'd have came and done the same thing, wouldn't you? Oh, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's no, not about the take. Doubt. It's about the experience. And That's right. To get out here and meet someone new, mm -hmm. watch these dogs work, today's a perfect day. I, I, I agree. I agree. It goes in the books.